What's up, Brickheads? Welcome back to Chapter 13 of Ghost Trick. What are we going to get into this episode? Probably some hijinks. And my god, I couldn't sleep last night. Who is the other ghost? Is it someone we met? Is it Cabanella? Is it Ray? Who th I got, We got to find out. I visited the novelist's apartment again. Hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping thing. You know. Like, seriously, lady, just call your husband. Jesus! As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, I doubt the justice minister will call off the execution tonight. So if we can just get her on the phone. There's a phone right there! It seems simple, but it's always the simplest solutions that are the most convoluted acts in this game. The key to dispelling the minister's doubt is now in bed. Coffin. Poor thing. Oh goodness, I need to use this key before that prison man arrives to pick up our death row inmate. Jesus, it's not an easy task. Like, she's she's really typing with her left hand, my god. I, what's well, this posture, lady? Goodness, stand up straight. Then again, easy for me to say. My darling angel, oh, just listen to that cough. You naughty thing, did you leave your nice warm bed to go out and play in the night? A daughter after my own heart, but I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. I, well, I, so you're accusing her? Come now. I didn't go out to play. I went to buy Papa a birthday present. Aww. So she did leave. I see. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this late at night. There's kidnappers out there, you know. But my fever finally went down. I could barely move before that. So, you know, I'm all feeling better. <laughs> but look what it brought you. Your fever's worse than ever before. Here is to the feverish passion of my darling angel. Ta-ta! <laughs> Some mother. Uh, Mama? Yes, darling. Let's go pop and wish him a happy birthday. Even though it's already past midnight. Uh, Not to lie tonight, Amelie. Sorry, can't do that. <laughs> I hate you, mommy. <laughs> Looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, of course, but bears repeating. There's another lucky development, too. Amelie wants to call her dad. Now if I can just make use of that feeling somehow, that'd surely bring the Justice Minister around. All right, and we have a new element inside the room, a lighter. We probably should not activate right now, but I'm feeling mischievous. You know, it's okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just like that? Just like that? The phone. Oh, goodness. Don't notice. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Dang it. You, mm, Miss Red or whatever your name is. Amelie, I told you not to call him tonight. Why not? He's my biological papa. Listen to me, Amelie. Your father is about to make a big mistake and won't get in. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who knows who's the justice minister, you know. All you do is write weird erotica for old biddies. My goodness, you're a sharp one, you know that. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, no. Hey, what do you mean, bitty? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? Now you've really made me angry. You really have. How do you expect me to forgive such an insult from a small girl? Ah! Uh, whoa! No, lady, stop! You effing turd! She just wants to communicate with her father. That's so. I'm mad. I'm mad. What is that sound? What the? Uh, uh, oh no! There. I'll be keeping my eye on you now. So you won't do anything else mischievous. Like calling your dad or whatever. I hate you so much, mommy. My freaking door did it again. Someone's playing a freaking ghost trick. Tell me you heard that. 
I feel like the justice minister now. Please tell me I'm not going insane. This house is haunted. Ah! I can hear you, you know. Anyway. Crud. What a pair. Also, these two are crazy. <laughs> I'm terrible. I don't know what this family's issue is, but I do know how to do something about that lady so Amelie can make the call. Also, to get the thing back to her. So this is... Dang, this is, like, extra wild. Like, they... You know, they did a layout with this place twice. That's impressive. Better not put out that lamp right now. Only pour oil on the flames of anger that lady's heart. Yeah, let's let her simmer down. If I want to give Amelie a chance to use the telly, I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. So telly. It's television. So... Again? I mean... What's the... Oh, oh, sorry, little guy. We gotta do this. Eh? Uh, see anything you like? Eh? Uh, well, well. Have a good time, are we, little rodent? My goodness, this neighborhood truly is the chunks you wouldn't dare. Sweet dreams! Uh, oh, wow. Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? <laughs> As if your refined, my my refined taste you could ever match. <laughs> you freaking old drunk! God dang you! Whoa, she's like hobbling and everything. <laughs> Maybe that's just because of the tight dress. Anyway, sorry about that, buddy. Had to be done. She's more powerful than I thought. Jesus! Oh my God! Whoa! Looks like she tipped the wall candelabra to one side. Why wow, they really hung up a candelabra here? Jesus! Dang all those candles! I get the feeling I've seen something similar before. <laughs> you don't say. Well, don't mind me. Just, uh, hmm. Can't do anything about that. What do we have here? Dictionary. On the top shelf, no less. How odd. Can we open it? This old bitty's dictionary. Wasn't this on her desk before? Poor thing. Destined to never be returned to the bookshelf. Ah, breaks my heart. Well, I hate to leave this little cheese enthusiast here. That's just so oh, I just effing killed him. <gasps> oh no, that's terrible. Dump. Oh heavens, a blackout at a critical time like this. It's almost the time for the smooch of the century. Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well. You can't perform with the lights on, can you? I, myself, am not very fond of the dark, though, so I think I'll be turning the lights on. Uh, you got a backup generator or something, lady? Uh, or that? The chandelier just narrowly missed the back of my head. I love the thrill of romance, but I don't much care for head trauma. That, that thrill I could do without, thank you. <laughs> That's what we're waiting for. Woo! Finally, fanning the flames. Of. Just when you thought you've seen it all, <laughs> that's. Are we gonna? Have, are we gonna have to burn her dictionary? Oh goodness. I mean, that would probably help. But I mean, it's also super noticeable. What a wonderful atmosphere! A perfect for a clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. You know, I always wondered who was a fan of these <laughs> certain kind of novels. Ah, not my favorite demographic or genre, I'll say that much. Don't exactly know how this situation came about. I think I owe that rat an apology. Rat seems to be unconscious. Oh, now the room has changed into this. Maybe I can use it. Can we... Oh, so the rat's okay, right? Like, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna make it. I was hoping we could link with him, but no. No chance, I guess. I mean, we could do that with Missile. Hmm, but now this is unlocked. Let's give it a shot. Uh? Oh man, I almost burned her hair. Heaven Betsy. You know, she got hairspray in that thing. That, it'd go up in flames. What a naughty chandelier you are. Oh, good heavens. Well, I don't think she's the type to say good heavens. We can't act during this. Dang it, thought if we tried that again. Trapper. Get her. Yes! Yes! Perfect! <laughs> That's so dumb! Amelie, darling, help me, Amelie! 
Oh, bother. What now, Mama? Uh, 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 what? You all right? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy to get up. Uh, I'm afraid I can't help you right now. Oh, you are. Here's to my, the weakness of my darling angel. Oh, bless her heart. Uh. What the? That chandelier is on there tighter than her wedding band. She won't be able to escape on her own. So what do we do? We do we rise it up? <laughs> I'm the worst person on earth. <laughs> what is going on in this home? Amelie, look, do you see this happen, darling? I'm too, I'm too sick, I'm afraid, to get out of bed. My head is spinning, so I guess you'll just have to stay up there spinning forever, too. <laughs> Looks like the lady won't be going anywhere for a little while. Now the little girl can call her dad. Oh, is she okay? Problem is, she can't reach it. Guess I'll just have to deliver it to her. How the heck are we doing that? Oh, right, the flame. That's right, the angle. Saw something very similar recently. Okay, okay, so that's our cue. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Okay, so here's an idea. We swing the pendulum, and that does jack all. Don't. What happens if we make these f flames really bright? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, she's going crazy. Oh, my God. She's also burning the... The rat! The rat of all things! You're joking! I... I'm so sorry. This poor... This poor little fella. You didn't deserve all that. I... Now I really owe that <laughs> an apology. This might be a really good chance for me. Gotta get that phone to Amelie. Go, 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 go. Dang, she, she how the dump? This thing is like stressed, bro. Jeez, that's, she gonna fall. Anyway, faster, faster little rat. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna save Detective your child. That's the wrong thing, I'm a nimcompoop. Go, 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 this, yes, finally. That, that's it, right? Eh? Oh, that's gonna land on her head. Oh, no. It'll land perfectly safely right near her. Merry Christmas, Amelie! Mama, what in the world is going on here? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I feel horrible. Oh, she landed on the like the the chimney. Whatever you call that. I don't know. I don't I don't live in a house. Oh, goody. Excuse me a minute while I call papa, mama. Oh, let me be a min. <laughs> I'm rebelling. Oh, I'm rebelling. I'm gonna call my father. Don't you dare, Amelie. Don't you dare. I won't have it. Don't mind me. Just gonna ease you up a little bit. No, no harm in that. Hello, Papa. Oh, uh, uh, a gasp. Audibly one. Amelie, is that you? Of course it is, silly. I thought I was silly. No, I'm sissy. Uh. What do you think? Oh, I heard they said you were... Uh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, thank God. No, never mind. It's nothing to worry your beautiful little head about. Silly old papa. Happy birthday, papa. Oh, she's so sweet. Birthday? Oh, oh right. Anyway, it's my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm afraid I'm losing track of time with my busy schedule. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate tonight. Thanks to me, no mama. Ah, uh, well, you know, we have uh, our issues, oh, your mean old mama, I mean, I mean your mother. What is she up to right now? She's certainly, uh, she's certainly up all right. <laughs> My stubborn mother's kind of tied up at the moment. Get me down, Amelie, I'm going to die up here. She needs to be taught a lesson for causing so much trouble with her disgusting hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you know what that means, my, my Amelie? Oh, goodness. Yeah. This new canon. <laughs> Miss Red is just like a... She's just a weep. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, Mo, my darling. I was the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm very, very sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? It's her disgusting manga that has ruined her family. <laughs> I... I was just about to make a Terrible mistake. But it's all right now. Oh, he's smiling. Uh, oh, all right. You're still young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. The job of Justice Minister is very complicated, you see. Oh, all right. But just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Dude, I believe it. It's freaking... 
She gets, she gets kidnapped. He loses it. Jeez. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. While you pass on my apology, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot to go around. She's been through a lot to deal with me. I'm a, I don't think I did anything, but okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. We call it saving face. <laughs> yes. Okay, Papa, have a good night. I love you. Also, I'm not being kidnapped right now. I love you too, Amelie. <laughs> good night to my sweetheart. <laughs> Man, Cecil did a good thing. I mean, he probably traumatized Miss Red forever, but you know, whatever. She's gonna, she's gonna throw that chandelier out. Uh, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness, why the sun change? I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Amelie. Finally, you recognize my work. Oh! I didn't want to go that far with it. It's still degenerate, but I thought all you ever did was write those disgusting weeaboo things. That makes me a little sad. I do a little more than just create smart. Papa said the job of justice minister was complicated. Yes, your father is very, very complicated and difficult. Uh, that's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right. I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up after all. Hmm. And I promise to stop calling your novels filthy and try to actually read them. Oh, no, darling. No, no. That's that's quite all right. You don't need to go. That, that's, no, you should never read them. Never, ever. Maybe you better wait until you're a little older. And and no, no, not mine. You can read. I, I mean, I shouldn't do that either. I, uh... Oh, all right, then. So, Amelie, if you're feeling a little more charitable towards your old mother, do you think you could let me down if you could muster the strength? You know, I'd love to do that, but I'm just so dizzy and sick all of a sudden. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so evil. <laughs> Tonight on this holy of nights, my deadline, it looks like the only thing pressing on me will be the chandelier. Here's to Papa and Mama's darling angel. She's surprisingly okay with this. Wow. All of a sudden, everybody's getting along great. Such an abrupt change. I can't, I can't, just can't understand it. This is what family's all about. Everyone kisses and makes up at the end of the day. Dang. Guess it would've been cool to experience that. In any case, situations change dramatically. So the mysteries can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows of the minister's brow. That's not the chapter end, huh? I don't know where Camilla is. At least not just as minister doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office where everybody's waiting for the van. Yeah, we, we bought so much time. We're good. Leave Jow, like, right here. Like he's, he's a free man, right? I don't think it's that easy. I miss his family now as their smile back. But Camilla's still in the hands of the kidnappers. Decided to go back to Justice Minister's office. Where? Surprisingly, the minister's brow is still just as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a father who just learned his daughter's safe. Seems to still be in the depths of despair. For some reason. The atmosphere in the room is very different now. Seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. Yeah, the feeling something big is about to happen. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. What now? I mean, for my very narrow POV, it seems all good in the hood, but I just found out that my daughter's safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter's sake. And for mine. The uh, <laughs> Shimona. <laughs> No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. Yeah, it was it was literally nothing. What a, what a blowhard. <laughs> but one question. I can't help but notice. Your daughter's safe. So. And yeah, you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Is that too much to ask on this holianism night? <laughs> of course. There's still the matter of... Oh, sorry. Skip that text box. But that is really the only thing about troubles, you Mr. Minister. Eh? Uh, well, uh, please let me think in peace until the prison van arrives. What? No, come on. I, you, you... If he doesn't pull through for us, man, I'm sorry. I liked you better when you were dead. I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. So we get a report, I guess I just gotta wait here and chill. Let's continue to stress of the minister. Is there really something more to it? Like the inspector in white said? Huh. Well, any minute, Madeline, are you gonna 
call the guy? I mean, come on. Getting out of a quarter on you? Dang, that would actually suck. Could you imagine carrying out quarters all the time? I can't do that crap. Well, I guess we could go say hi to Jow and F it. Oh, wait, we actually have to talk to him. Whoops. Hello, Justice Minister. You're not here. Ghosts are not real. I may finally admit I exist. No, I don't think I'll be doing that. That thank you I expressed was meant for you, so I think that should suffice. Oh, so flattered. You're a ghost, aren't you? And yet you have the power to control and manipulate people. So? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. Not that I want to. Uh, I mean, come on. So, <laughs> frankly, <laughs> we've actually known. You know, for quite a while now. But I had no idea there were powers of the dead of ghosts. Uh, what, what? Knowing about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others. A manipulator? Wait, I'm the one saying it, so it ends in a question mark. A manipulator, yes. Oh, uh, well, well, what's that? Oh, goodness, well, who are you? That's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jode. Mr. Minister, why don't you just tell us everything you know? At long last. Uh, yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. Uh, all about the huge mistake that foolish man made. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Truth bombs are a flying. So this manipulator. There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Like that whale guy and, you know, the, the punk rocker. Of course you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Joe. Right, they don't share too much top secret info when you're an inmate. <laughs> are all these prisoners, including you, special the prison, special prison to escape. All these cases have certain points in common. Oh, they do. I'd love to hear it. Tell me more. I'm just dying to know. Okay, okay. The rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics. And, well, Jesus Christ, he's rotund, isn't he? <laughs> the career-loving fellow who took the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of these men have motive for their crime. And both of their crimes were in possible. Uh, and yet they happen. Crazy. The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office, and the rocks had no way of learning those secrets. The special investigation unit submitted an investigative report to me to on them. They concluded that there were men whose criminal acts were not of their own volition. So I can manipulate pieces of paper and urinal cakes, and there's a ghost tricker that can manipulate humans. You're pulling my leg, bro. We got we got the so scuffed power ever. Back could that be? Now the theory the the unit came up with was the existence of a manipulator. A manipulator, huh? Like one of them, you know, puppet guys you see on the, you know, kind of kind of creepy, so you don't look him straight in the eye. You know what I mean? You know, is that just is that just a local thing? I don't know. I don't know. There's always these marionette guys that freak me out. Ah. Uh, I think that's just a you thing. I, I've never witnessed that. Uh, that's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Well, what'd they find? Uh -huh. I'm curious. Some unknown power here has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cabanella has been studying these cases. What? Oh, yes, has he? Manipulating somebody into committing a crime... According to the inspector. Man. Do you don't think? No, but it's power. It's. It's not even power over the dead. If they're still alive, what is going on? Maybe it's unrelated to our power. The worst case was involved a lock room murder involving our nation's best detective. You try to say I was manipulated somehow, shooting all. <laughs> I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. And it's not possible to manipulate another's behavior like that. My powers certainly don't be working on the living, do they? <laughs> well. That's what I thought when I first heard the theory, too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. Where's the music? Ah, uh, what now? Wow, this game. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. 
I did like the first couple chapters, but I was like, all right, where, where is this? Where is this going? Other than like a fun D. Now the game's just. Mm, I hope. I hope there's still some mysteries to come. But the minister's mistake. Holy dumb. Do you think Lynn was manipulated? To ki no, but then why would Sissel pose like that? Just sure hope nobody shoots me right in the middle of this camera. <laughs> like, you know, like, you mentioned a mistake. I always like to call it a mistake. Could you tell us about it? Yeah. Suppose everybody here has the right to know. All right, fine. I'll speak out loud so that Inspector Cabanella can hear this too. All right, let's get Adel out of here. All right, yeah, sorry. I'm just going to step out real quick. Uh, here you go, Cecil. Oh, thanks a bunch. <laughs> just like exiting the red toilet zoo. <laughs> no, 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 fashion. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite right. There, there's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. I know, I know, shocker, but I am also human. Oh, no way. Uh, Inspector Gabinella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. <laughs> now I know better. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does, in fact, exist in our world. And I... I learned the truth firsthand. Wow. Okay, where are you going with this? Inspe Ooh, Prime Minister. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think Mama Rose, or whatever her name is, she got... It takes a lot of huevos to admit you're wrong. Watching these videos, I'm, I'm wrong constantly. I'm like, oh, edit that out so I look smarter. Edit that out so I look smarter. Edit Can't edit it all out. I'm wrong all the time. What is this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Joe's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. What? Is he not talking about me? I was being controlled. You're joking. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. That's why he was so freaked out about the ghost. That's why he's freaked out about me. Dude, this is crazy. What's going on? Ah, this document, what am I doing? Uh, it, no, I mustn't sign it. It's too hasty. Oh, 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 oh. oh goodness. I, well, oh God. That would be terrifying. I've had nightmares of this for so many years. That's why I don't like ghosts, bro. No! Don't deliver that document! Please! You mustn't! Uh, I'm getting conflicting orders. It's a shame I have no autonomy of my own. <laughs> no, come out, you... Uh, that's when it started. And that's why Mama Rose is mad at him. I thought he was a nasty little cheater boy. No, not a million years. He wouldn't compromise his marriage over that. That's when all my fear, despair, and suffering began. <laughs> wow. Also, uh, despair? Can we, can we not bring that up? At that time, I didn't cross my mind that I'd been manipulated. And my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Just like our power, bro. The memory being manipulated doesn't clearly remain. Interesting. Sign the execution order as part of the Justice Minister's job. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. But no, it was a little more than just that, I'm afraid. But the next day it dawned on me. I remembered Inspector Cabadell's report on the existence of a manipulator. Some timing, huh? As a Minister of Justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, the, the nation knows the nation's the nation's judicial system would crumble. Now I'd look very incompetent, and then my darling Rose and my darling daughter, they would uh, be out of a home. So, uh, you know, besides, I have no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. I suppose. Hey, I'm the wrong guy. Frick, I just looked at the nose. I was like, oh, that's a I suppose. This sounds a bit like an excuse to me. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes, yes, I know I should have. I was running away from the problem, as one does. Ugh. Oh. 
goodness. You're walking here with that drinking hand? Jesus. It's, it's carpeted floors, lady. And when my wife found out, I was worried about something. Well, if you go around with an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. She, she would know. I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. Well, is she speaking reason? Whoa! Easy on the, the the desk is, you know, that's mahogany, lady. Don't break, don't crack it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out. Wow. Wow, Johnny Awesome. You doubted Miss Rose. She was safeguarding Prote De De Detective Joe's life. And you thought she was a psycho bitty weeaboo. It's true. I mean, she still could be a weeaboo. And then without the, kidna with the kidnapping tonight, the thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer deny my mistake. Wow. Well, it took him long enough to... It's all out in the open. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everyone. That's why you've been telling people to stay back, huh? Wow. Guess the pills make sense now. He's under a lot of stress. I feel for the guy, truthfully. So there's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. Slash living. Slash about to be dead. I don't know. <laughs> Thought I was special. But surprisingly, I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. Right. I'm not fine with this. The fact that person can control and manipulate living creatures. It's certainly not something I can do. I'm, I'm just a t I'm reasonably a little bit jealous. You know, I'm kind of annoyed. Apparently different ghosts get different ghost tricks. How about that? Hmm. Where do we go from here? Like, you know, Joad's not gonna die. Once, uh, 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 like, everything seems fine. I never imagined that tonight. I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Whoa, 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 don't, don't, don't say it out loud. Oh yeah, where's it come from? <laughs> uh, Inspector Cabanella, this manipulator is a ghost, a departed spirit. A spirit? And I know he ain't talking whiskey, huh? As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. Meh! What? What'd you say? Get out! Don't tell me you can hear this ghost too! Ah, uh, maybe I can, maybe I can. I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you and maybe these two friendly guards who I appreciate for doing a good job. Spirit, ghost, gods in heaven, my god- Ah! Excuse me, Mr. Minister, I suddenly I have some urgent business to attend to. I'm gonna make a call. I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. <sighs> well, if you'll excuse me. In Inspector, no, don't. Oh, gosh. Oh, right on time. Hello, Linny. How are we? This is Lynn, I'm at the park. We've been waiting for you. Have you found the evidence? Hopefully there's not another assassin out there. Well, the situation here is kind of difficult to explain. Cecil, if you're there, please come to the park immediately. Bye-bye. Did you even try? I I guess she has a lot of faith in us. Oh, bother. Uh, it looks like your help is indeed needed, Cecil. Yeah, I heard. Well, shall I? <laughs> uh, Jesus. I kind of want to say goodbye to Joad, though. I mean, we, never, we don't know if we're going to see him again. Never saw that coming. The minister is being controlled, huh? It's... I'm truly sorry, Detective Joad. I have no excuse to offer you. You know, maybe it was all for the best. What, what do you mean? You had never been manipulated. You never would have believed the power existed. After all, you are a realist, as they say. This goes to show you never know when even the worst things could turn out to be good. Wow. Wow. You know what? <laughs> I don't want to talk about personal life too much, but he's spitting. Detective Joad, I, I I, don't know what to say. All right, Cecil. Better go help Lynn. She's a good kid, but she's got a habit for taking on other people's problems. Yeah, no fooling. Yeah, I know. Is that Temsic Park? Temsic, Temsic. What is that? What does that sound like? Oh, it's going to be bugging me all day, but yeah, let's head over. Man. They just don't make them like this anymore. Go strike two. I let your boogle. No, this is like a lightning in a bottle situation. But I said the same thing about the world ends with you. 
Would that will that will that be now the best D will this be the, will this defeat the world ends with you as my favorite DS game? Probably not. But hey, we'll see. Lynn calls and I oblige. I take off toward Temsic Park. At least where clearly something big is going down. Ooh. A manipulator. A person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jowd's crime, the execution orders, even my own death. Most likely the true perpetrator. Could it be? Could Lynn have been manipulated into shooting me? Well, hard to say. Were you posing like that? <sighs> then again, we were like in view of the camera. That part is weird. <sighs> I guess we just gotta keep playing to find out. Golly, I just can't put this game down. Chapter four. Oh, it's getting re wait. 128 p.m. Wouldn't it be AM? I mean, I. Uh, localization mistake? I mean, it happens. We're all human. Temsic Park. Inside of the little lady Camilla's abduction site. In the place where important information of evidence, the music box was hidden. Oh boy. Oh, is that one person gonna. Oh, chicken kitchen to go. What is going on? I wonder why our lady detective is so dejected. At least she ain't dead. What'd she find? Uh, I guess a whole lot of nothing? So somebody's taken a... Uh, oh, this is like a part we never even saw before. How about that? I can't believe it's part of the story again. Eh? What's he doing here? La 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 la. Let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. The world will not end until food delivery is a little late. La 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 la. <laughs> She got takeout? Wait, it's already cold. This meat is not and it's not even edible. What a fiend. <laughs> okay. Swing a little harder for me, bro. You got me? Yeah, what a guy. Alright, alright. So we got nothing. Globe climber. A bunch of leaflets up here. Jesus. They sure know how to freaking Oh, whoa, don't go too high now. I'm trying to litter right here, Jesus. Take the umbrella down, like Mr. Cabanella. I really hope Cabanella's not the bad guy, because I like him an awful lot. But he he does seem genuinely surprised about the manipulator thing. And if he was the one in you know inspecting all that stuff, right? It would make make lead you to. Blah. Hey, I'm not the detective here. It's Lynn, so like you know I can I can chill a little bit. Spin this around though. Can we get something to fly off? Maybe a boot? Maybe a ball? Hmm. I'll hang on to the boot, just in case. Nope. Don't think that's active. Got this thing spinning pretty fast. Didn't even put much effort into it. It's quite a bit of power and speed for a piece of playground equipment. These poor kids. <laughs> Can't imagine all the poor kids who get sent flying all over this park. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that is quite the image. Yeah, back in the net. Back in the doubt. <sighs> I forget what somebody called it. They called it the Zeros as the mid-2000s. Or I guess just the 2000s. I'm not a fan of that. That means we're, we're racing the the 1900s. Like, literally. That's effed up, man. Like, that ain't fair. It's messed up. Lots of crazy things happen in the two, you know, the real 1900s, right? Like, Spanish flu. She didn't even come from Spain. That was messed up. But, you know, we gotta learn from our history, y'all. Oh, there you are, Sissel. Sorry. Probably should have hung closer to the telephone, given I already know how your abilities work and everything. From your dejected expression, I gather, you didn't find what you're looking for here. Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. I found something else instead, something horrible. Is that a dead body? It's a dead body, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, go see for yourself. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow, that's terrible. Oh yeah, that's a dead body if I've ever seen one. <laughs> and I've seen plenty. I nearly died when I saw it. I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it here, can we? A little side quest. All right, I suppose not. We can we gotta help him out. Hey, what's going on? I already forgot your boy. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park. The rock of the gods. You there. You talking to me? Aren't you? Are you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets! I know you'll be very interested. I am yeah, not really. 
not really the reading type. I literally can't. I urge you to pursue it thoroughly. Examine it in detail. That sounds like a lot of work. You don't mind that. Do you remember your name? Uh, my name. My name. I love that anime film. <laughs> Gotta stop making everybody a <laughs> Also, the anime is called Your Name. <laughs> I bought the knockoff. It was decent, if not better. Why does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Like a park. Okay. Come now. Study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods. That wasn't in the script. I love to improvise. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is soon approaching. But we are young. Yeah, I'm not going to be young much longer. All right, look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. But I am interested in the way you died. So let's get back on track. Four minutes ago. Whether you want me to or not. All right. I'm not reading your stupid tracks. Let's out. <laughs> oh my god. You wouldn't dare. No. You wouldn't dare. Wait, he's still hanging around here? I guess he came back. Do I have that timeline right? Yeah. No, it's been a while since the chicken kitchen incident. And so I made up my mind. I, resol I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay. What does that have to do with the Rock of the Gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. Ah, uh, yes, well, here you are. Uh, it's written quite clearly in the fourth leaf lid in great detail. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Excuse me, but I uh, have to use the restroom. See ya. Oh, well, when you get done, would you mind looking at the leaf lid? Eek? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's on the other side of the wall. Whoa, buddy. I'm coming. Yeah. Just hold on. Here I go. I'll be right there. La, 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 la. Eh? I've located the target. Is, is her name just effing beauty? That means she shares the same name as a bo 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 character. Listen, kids. You're, you, can, you can achieve anything. They found a way to dub bo 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 bo. Now, 95% of you, that makes no sense. Like, what is this kid even talking about? First off, I'm not a kid. I'm a lizard. But, just look it up, then you'll get it. Ah, the girl, the right age, coming out of right of the apartment building and at the right exact time. It can't be a coincidence. I think I got the right one. Oh. Well. Uh, uh, hey, don't steal. Yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Well, have fun with that. Uh, good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? Oh, God. Oh, what the frick? It's a... Oh, God, there's creeps everywhere! Oh, God. What do I do? What should I do? I must do something. Ah. Oh, no way. What in the world just happened? Oh, that's Mino. You mean them tiny little, the, 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 the tiny little fish? No, that's a minnow. Mino, the mascot, the symbol of Tempson Park. Forget about the name. What the, what the dub? I'm talking about the change in direction. Did you see that? What was that? A manipulator? Yes, I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl and doomed me forever. Okay, that confirms it. And that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Okay, I, I get purged of her, like saving an innocent girl, but. Yes, precisely. It's called the mischief of the gods. <laughs> wow. Was it the mischief of the gods? Or was it a ghost trick? And again, I thought I was the only one that could manipulate, you know, objects. I don't think that minnow thing is a living creature. Ghost trick could change the direction of something heavy. Wait, no ghost trick could change something direction of something heavy in midair. Wait a minute. So if it's not a manipulator, it's not a ghost trick. 
What if there's somebody with much greater powers than even me? What if there's somebody alive inside of Min- Nah, that's stupid. Because it's concrete! What is going on here? Oh, the mystery! It must be solved. Hi-ho, let's go. Look at that. There's another flame besides me. Oh! So that is the flame of a god! Is I don't even want to read his dialogue. But hold on! Your spirit is a flame too, is it not? Yeah, so what? Pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> At the last minute, big lump of concrete made a huge swing to the right side. That's probably the flames doing. What could it be? I gotta investigate. I definitely believe it's a god or something god related. Like the sandal of a god or the sandwich of a god. Maybe I better try talking to the person. Okay, let's just go. Let's. And wait, her core, why is it gone now? What is going on here, man? Who are you? What the? The person with much greater power than me. It's you. Hey? Is it Missile? Yeah, it is, baby! Sissel, it is I, Missile. <laughs> Good to see you again, chum. Oh my god, it's... Yes, I am Missile. I am alongside Camilla, as I said I do earlier. Ah, uh, you're looking good, kid. For, for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it. I tried really hard, and I succeeded. I saved Miss Camilla, and doomed a less significant individual. Are you telling me I was done in by a poppy dog? So, uh, a, a previous episode in this in this uh, series was called Dog and God, or something along those lines, and they it's actually relevant. My God. You mean my dog? What is up, my dog? It is I, Missile. What, what? Missile, what's going on? How'd you get the powers of the dead? Come on, boy. Speak. Tell me. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> After Miss Camilla went out and you left. Well... Don't tell me he died again. I mean, that's not possible. I worked crazy to make my own path, and I did it. No. I, oh, great. He didn't bash his head into the door. Like, that'd be, that'd be really gross. And I followed Miss Camilla out in the big wide world. It was scary, but nothing would stop me from saving Miss Camilla. What the? Dang, that's a big effing hole. Dumps all of that. And then, here at this park, I found her at last. Yes, you guessed it. I barked. You bet I did. And I went running after her, too. But did something happen? Oh, no. Scum of the earth. I mean, I know he kidnapped Camilla and everything, but the actually just garbage human being. And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. Can we bring him back? It's been more than four minutes. Oh. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big, scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll never win the re-election now. I'm so sorry, little lady. Forgive me. Miss Camilla, I screamed. In bold letters. Yeah, I, I can read. I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... You're actually fooling. I can't tell how surprised I was. But I bet you understand. Yeah. Better than probably anyone else could. I remember what you did for me. How you saved me. So you did the same. Wow. You went back four minutes ago, did you? You bet I did. But I, I, I can't believe this missile has the power of the dead. I mean, I, some dog. Yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab her and put her in a giant comedically sized bag. Like, it's really dumb. Like, what do you think about it? Like, why would they make this? <laughs> Except for this express purpose. I bought it from uh, kidnappers.com. That's, it's a, you gotta buy in bulk. It's not really worth it. Oh my God. Oh, do we get to play his missile in this chapter? Please. Now's my chance. I thought, I saw the core. I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretched on my paw toward the core. 
I felt something at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel. Try yourself. All right, I'll give it a shit. Whoa, buddy! Whoa, Missile! How can you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. <laughs> I'm filled with gas, so much so it can reach the stratosphere. I uh, forget I asked. So then you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside. Right on top of my head! Well, uh, no, actually. However, I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. Why had you do it? I don't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And I had a core too. Wait, what? A single leaf hanging from the tree. Can you like merge things? Is that what happened? I tried reaching out to the leaf. And then... What in the world is going on? I can't manipulate things. But apparently I can swap them. This is actually so cool. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. That is leaf shaped. You're, wow. Go ahead and try. Give it a swap. That's incredible, Missile. So that's how you save your mistress, is it? That's how I became dead. I'm very sorry about that. That wasn't my intention. My powers were, t were too meager. Meager, huh? Because you see, I saw one more. The football in the tree. But you couldn't reach it? I happened to notice one more, Cora. There was something with the exact shape in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. How about that? Mina could just swap again with that. Then disaster would be prevented. Yay! But... What is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I much prefer it over the head than Mino. <laughs> Understandable. So why don't you swap them? I couldn't. I can't stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Sizzle. Oh, but not enough. But this was just too far for me. I couldn't read. Well, that's where we come in. We need to get that football... Over to uh, Mr. Magoo over there. I mean, whatever his name is. I, I don't know. Seems simple enough. I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death. If I do say so myself. Ah. I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. But there's something you can do now. Huh? We work together, you and me. Sissel, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Think you could help me? Of course! Naturally, I didn't ask you. <laughs> we gotta get something over to Domino other than that thing. Let's try it. Let's go back four minutes before, uh, what's his name die. Simple enough. All right, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with that le that leaf. Then you gotta swap Mino with something else. So, it'll be that. That's our best candidate. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Why do they got rugby and dirty? Nowhere. Okay, rugby ball. Sure. The rugby ball where it is now. Missile can't reach it. So that means I gotta move it closer. Okay. Let's work together. Oh, we can, we can actually work together like sw Ooh. That way you can be able to control me. And if you press R2, I can control you. Oh. Together we can stop Mino from hurting anybody. Let's get it. Man, they're adding new mechanics this late in the game. That's so rad. All right, Missile. The powers are the key to this. Okay, I'm ready. You can swap anything with the same shape. You can call on me if you find anything you want to try. All right, let's get started. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he goes so far. What a guy. What a guy. So we'll do one of these and try and get it out of the tree. Look at this funny flattened ball. Whoa. Yeah, you've established these are all the same shape. Oh my god, video game. But it's too far to swap. Even this ball is starting to look horrible to me. Oh goodness, can we settle for another leap? No, we can't settle for another leap. We have to find a way to get this ball closer. Knock it down from the tree, I say. Must be something we can do. All right. And can't do it like that, I'm afraid. Oh wait, we have to swap so we can... Wait, what? Oh, I have to actually... Wait, what? Oh, no, we don't actually travel in tandem. Crud, I gotta catch up to Missile, I guess. Well, before that, this is... Oh, man, that complicates things a whole lot. Okay, right on cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can use his inertia, right? Wait, no, try this again. But then... Yeah, let me move to it. Here you come already. 
I swore to myself to re not repeat my mistakes. Mistakes. And if somebody's in trouble, you should lend him a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. And now the recklessness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. I've been thinking. If we could stop this man from running, maybe he wouldn't be squished. That won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth is taken over. <laughs> so even if I start spinning that jungle gym thing, you, it's not going to stop him. Well, it's going to learn that at least indirectly. Move the seesaw one more time to get up. And then, ooh, man, he is mobile. Oh, my God. We have no reach here. Oh, wait, we have to wait for him to spin it. And once he does that, we should be able to get inside the ball, maybe? Oh, God, time is, like, not on our side right now. Okay, we made it. We made it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm almost caught up to you, missile. My God, he, he sure can't move. Jesus. It's a he, right? I'm not sure. I Whoa. Ooh. Could we use that? Oh, don't. Man. Yeah, if we just hang on to the ball. Crud. Okay, let's close the umbrella. Travel down a little bit. Oh, man. I still don't think this will be enough. No, I don't, I don't need to actually fuse with... <laughs> fuse is the wrong word, but... Yeah, do that real quick. It's good that we can can't move the rugby ball dog no dog yes shut up missile okay where is he he's already in position time is already really low that was so close if i had the ball it could have been knocked it down whoa is that all this umbrella can be used for for knocking the rugby ball down don't forget about my power oh yeah 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 the ball are we supposed to Ooh, here's an idea don't forget about my power of reckless youth shut up shut up shut up there, ooh. Okay, okay, we're, we're almost out of time, but I'm curious. Can we, can we swap these two things? Yes, you can. If the, what happens if we, we go there really fast? And, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're not the same shape. I see, okay. But yeah, I, th I think it has to do with this basketball. If only we could, uh, that's the end of it, seriously? Okay. All right, we got a surprising amount of it there. We just have to act a little bit faster, I think. And now what happens if Sissel gets into the basketball? Does anything change? Like, we should definitely, like... Hmm. Well, no, why would... Hold on, give me a second. Why would the... Oh, now we can't cross over? It's so heavy, I can't get it to move. Maybe because of the swap? Guess a little ball is about the weight I can handle. Dang it! That means, we, okay, yeah, yeah, we do, we're doing this too early then. So let's get Missile out of the ball, swap over, activate the seesaw, then hang out inside. No, we can't hang out inside the ball. That's not going to help anything. Just get to the, ooh, dang, he is fast. He sure has reckless youth. But I'm reckless too, son of a gun. I'll do whatever it takes to save little old Camilla. Okay, right here. Then we go, oh, frick. This sucks. This sucks a lot, but we got it. Nice. Maybe I should hang out up here just for safekeeping. Because, oh, don't we also need that umbrella down? Wait. Oh, I was about to say, like, ah, oh, those are roughly the same shape, but no, I guess it has to be exact. But we can still get airborne if we time this right. So come on, dude. Should I. S should we maybe spin this? Like a little faster? I mean, I can't even reach it. It's worth a shot, though. Just want to see what happens, right? Let's just let's just see what occurs. Then I have more than enough time to get back inside the basketball, right? Oh my God, he is flying! I well, I will have time to get back in the basketball, right? Okay, I do, I do. Okay, gotcha. Now fall down, fall down. Why isn't he falling? I I mean I know I want to save him, but no, that's gonna doom Camilla! Oh dump, oh dump! I screwed up. I uh the power of. Reckless youth, right? You're gonna, you're gonna get off, right? There we go. And he freezes time when I do that. No! The ball is different with that trajectory? You're messing with me. Sissel, did you see that? The seesaw. Yeah, it sent that ball up just right, didn't it? So close. It's too bad it didn't hit the rugby ball and knock it down. It really looked like it was going to as well. Guess it, this just isn't the way to knock down the rugby ball. But you know, that that ball in the seesaw will come in handy. Come in handy how? Dump, I need a hint. That wasn't it? I mean, of course it can't go that high. Think, Jimbo. Think, 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 think. 
I got nothing. Okay, but we know for certain we do need to get the umbrella down. So I need to do that the next time. God, uh, it's so creepy. Get out of my face. All right, this time I'm getting Sissel up the tree. Stat. No. Wait, what? Then this is impossible. What is going on here? I didn't even... Mm, I didn't even have time to swap the balls this time. What the dump? I mean, we can still try it. Maybe... Hold on. Okay, we have the basketball in place. Sure, sure, sure. Now swap to Sissel. Let this uh, love letter go. Oh, we already did that. Then maybe the umbrella now? I've lost the plot, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I think we screwed up already. <sighs> if only I could see what the... Okay, I have an idea. Is it possible to get in this position with the basketball down... Yeah, we just have to- we have to spin him around so we waste more time! That's it. That's gotta be it, bro. Okay, so first order of business with Sissel. Just get into... Okay, we can't get into the center of this now, but we, we, we can very soon. And just kind of have Missile on standby. He's right on cue. Now we just need him to jump onto the play set, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to... Oh, come on. Just one more second. Jesus. Okay, go, 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 go. Spin him now, and that'll also... Let all the leaflets fly, right? So I can actually ascend the tree. Oh my god, this timing. Blech. What? I'm not even attached to the boot anymore? The dump? There we go. Jesus. Also, where's the music? It's kind of eerie. Okay, but while we're time is still frozen, go down here, swap these balls. Because we don't really need those anymore, yeah? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I guess you can just chill inside the this and then... Come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. Go, 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 go. I think this is it, bro. This has to be it everything just do it like that then open it one more time should we open this i don't know i don't know actually i mean in my head you know the the basketball will now like bounce off the umbrella right oh god i hope so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to missile come on man i just need to see like fully what occurs here yeah oh, wait what does that do for me what is, no really what does that do for me is that enough that's not enough at all. Uh, what happens if we close this? The umbrella won't close. The ball must be in the way. Oh well, guess we don't have to close it. Don't we don't? Excuse me, I need help. Wow, I so did not see that coming. I thought the umbrella would catch in the ball. Did you see that? The tree branch, it, it shook a little. I think I saw it shake too. If only it shook a little more. How do I get it to shake a little more? What? It would knock that terrible rugby ball down from this terrible tree. Maybe it just needs a little more weight. We surprisingly used... It... Is this the same shape? Yo. Let's go! We did it! But wait, no. His missile... Missile's not in the, in the ball. <gasps> and we moved the ball. What do you think, missile? You think you're in range, buddy boy? Hmm. With that ball there, I think I can do it! Okay, now, just a few more seconds. We gotta swap Minnow and then the. The final moments here, Missile. I, I totally didn't understand that, but I'll try my best. Okay, go now, please. Hopefully, I have enough time. Uh, okay, wait, how do I get a Minnow? No. What? What? No, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. <gasps> okay. Okay, I just have to hope that this is right. I think I mean there's no there's no way there's no way to reach the leaf, right? Please don't make me do all this over again. It wasn't like a long chapter, but my god. Okay, so the the this Oh no 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 he, wait. I I Oh god. Oh god, please, please. No, 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 desk group, desk group. I'm mashing L1, buddy boy! You better believe I am! <gasps> okay, that one did automatically. Yes, thank god. I was not sure he was gonna watch me, Sissel. Here I go. Finish in touch. You can do it, Missile. Swap men away that ball. Oh, thank God. Good, good boy. Good boy. Oh, owie. Oh no. There. How's that? My head has been spared. Truly, that was a tribe worthy of the gut. Shut up. And now Mino is right where he belongs in the trash. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, I guess we did. Fate's been changed. But boy! Now nobody has to die. 
except for one brave little somebody. Uh, talking about you, man. Oh, right, me. I guess you're right, I'm still dead. So now let's go back and save your life. Yes, 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 this was the man! Wait a minute. What is that? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. Uh, you what? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla. And to do that, I need these powers of the dead. But come on, she needs you alive too! Oh, I see. Well, I appreciate the company. Perfectly understandable, honestly. Even I wish that powers of the dead. Yeah, I just... But I just saved you. You're not getting any, so shut up. Oh, of course, you're right. Sage. What? Does he always do is just quote, like, herbs and spices? What? Okay, Missile. Have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we go back in time, could you give it to her? Certainly! You have my word! Let's go back, then. To the present! To deliver the present! <laughs> do you like that, Sissel? Yeah, it's very clever. All right, let's go. <laughs> well? Any problem, Miss Lynn? So Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story. That saying anything. I'm sorry. Wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's all right after all. After all, she has me! <laughs> oh god, this must be creepy. Um, who is that surly fo- Oh, wow. He was in the leaf the whole time. It's the best I can be pet when I'm a ghost, I'm afraid. Are you there? It's a good thing I didn't crush this little leaf, huh? Miss Lynn, leave Camilla to me. I know I don't look much like right now, but I'm sure I can help her. Oh god, that's your voice, Missile. I I just thought you sound a little cuter. Oh no. <gasps> uh, Miss Lynn, no! Uh, oh, good heavens. Is he gonna be all right? Uh, I'm gonna leave missile up. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up to you, missile. Kind of looks like missiles being lefted up to the wind, but uh, sure, whatever. Huzzah! I've returned to the lands between. Ooh, oh God! I would not. I'd never come to this park ever again if I was Lynn. I have something to give you. Here, a leaflet. Stop the park from being destroyed into a housing site. Come on, we don't all need housing, right? Aren't you forgetting your promise, buddy? Uh, pardon me. Uh, uh, also this thing. Here you go. This is for you. My apologies. Uh, oh, you know, that I will take. Thank you. <laughs> you kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thanks. Well, oh, God. not at all. I was only doing what the rock of the gods told me to do. But, you know, I, it's always nice to have a maiden who, who would have wanted... I. Uh, What's the matter? Can I get your tongue? He's mem he's mesmerized by my beauty. Duh, Sissel. Sure. Right, chicken head. Hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue. Uh, uh, what's going on? You good? Excuse me, but are you? No, what couldn't be? Don't say the goddess. Don't say the goddess. Have we met before? Aren't you? That little girl from that time? What? I'll never forget. Ten years ago in this park. Ten years ago? Um... Are you talking about... Whoa. Okay. Is there a chance this is, like, serious? Have you met this weirdo before? I don't remember, but he said ten years ago in the park. There's no way that's a coincidence. It could only be one thing. Hmm... Looks like I better talk to Leaflet here. All right, let's see your side of it. Here is the park. The gods surely control fate. Today, 10 years ago from that day, we met once again. That isn't the power of the gods. What else could it be? Coincidence, I don't know. Apparently, you know our lady detective. But tell us about it. About what happened 10 years ago? Yes, of course. I was actually just about to do that. Rock of the gods, huh? What's this rock of the gods you keep talking about? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Uh, well, I did 
notice, yeah, that giant hole there. Oh, goodness. Well, she already ran off. Oh, my God. What a bad day for Lynn. Oh, my God. So sad. Missile. <laughs> oh, I don't need your help. What the? Get out of here, you freak. Wait a minute. You said gods, but... Do you mean... Dogs? Of course not. Don't be stupid. This is no time for ridiculous wordplay. Oh. oh. You're standing just above the Rock of the Gods. Take a look at that monument. Monument? I'll take a moment and take a look at the monument. Oh. Uh, Rock of the Gods. Temsic Park. Rock of the Gods. Uh. What? The rock is buried in the ground. It's been through uh, ten years since. Ever since that day, it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. Stand arrows. No, you ninny! It's a miracle. Wow. So this rock you've been talking about, it's a meteorite. Precisely, madame. It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Of course. Surely you know all about it. M me I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm really scared. That day, I just happened to be passing through the park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down, and through the gloom, I heard the scream of a little gal. That's best I, that's best I can do. Now just calm down and drop the weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Oh my god. So what really did happen. Who's this other guy? I noticed they're not showing the hair. Hmm. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick it was painful. Just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish white. An effing meteorite dropped from the sky. What? Did did Jowd not even fire? When it crashed into the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of these beautiful frags pierced into the criminal's back. Wow. Wow, so jo Joe didn't even fire. The judgment of the gods brought down in the park that day. Oh my god. Lynn just... Oh my god. Wow. Ten years ago, little girl, that was you, was saved by the Rock of the Gods. I kind of don't believe it, given you have a very shaky uh, reputation, but it all adds up. The Rock of the Gods was given the name Tem Sick, and still, to this day, gotta say, it's a sick name. I like to call him Tim. It lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Okay, so... How did Tem get so sick? I never knew about this Tem sick. I always thought Detective Jad was the one that blasted that sucker. We were very young, and you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. That's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. Strange you never heard of it, Lynn. Isn't it? Now I think about it. I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteor was named Temsic, after the name of the park that it lies in, and then the rock of the gods was forgotten. No, an awful thing had happened. We're talking about the turning the park into a housing site. Never forget the miracle I witnessed that day, and so I've taken up residence in the park and I'm trying to appeal. Dang, fella, I got you all wrong. You, you know, yeah, you ain't half bad. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. That is my mission. I know the truth. As I'm not a fanatic. Well, I am, but you know. I see. Well. That's a lot to take in. So it's pretty safe to assume this meteorite gives people the power to defy death. Because I mean, if Missile's right near it, I'm taking you with me, Missile. So 10 years ago, the little girl, as Lynn, was about aware of the meteor. I get that, but Detective Chowd, on the other hand, he knows about it. There's no way he didn't know about this Temsic thing. And if he knew, and the man died, I took his life. That was a lie, too. That was another. Con why was that, what was that confession all about? Yeah, why do you lie back then? It doesn't add up. The rocks of the gods that fell from the sky changed the destinies of many people's lives, like the ripple of a pond. 
when the pebbles dropped in. Is Ray a god? Is that what is going on here? Or is he just another victim of this meteorite? On every answer I get, learn about a new mystery. Am I able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Jesus. Now there's freaking meat rocks falling from the sky? I thought it was just like an Italian mobster thing. No, this is nuts! Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, I decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Joad. Or is it Jowd? I should probably ask him that too. <gasps> Cliffhanger! No, I couldn't do that. <laughs> we found the music box, Detective Jowd. Ah, good job, Lynn. I knew you could. Uh... Once I have everything been resolved, I want to—I want you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella? Don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Oh, for ruining his record? Yeah. Now nah, then, let's get this thing open. Certain act of doing it, you know. You gotta have a—you know. There you go. <laughs> See? Uh, so it just—it was brute strength. Yeah, that's the trick. A little bit of elbow grease. <laughs> <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Oh, finally, some self defense. Oh, goodness, I have this so close to my face. Did you find scorch marks on the grip? Scorch marks? When Camilla better contraption, she uses a special kind of string. It's a kind of magician's use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. <laughs> In the case report, there was mention of s some scorch marks. So, uh, that matches up. Oh, I was about to say, if the freaking, if the other manipulator blasted him right now. Oh my god, that would have sucked. When it happened, Camille was watching from behind a hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. It was a little weird. <laughs> Stupid gun. I took the gun out of the frame and placed it with a picture. You remove the picture, you'd find scorch marks behind it. Those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words, proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. Yeah. Thank God he got that gun away from him. Like he's got a family, yo. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't want him to die. Now that we know he's not a dirty, rotten cheater, you know, he's got to live. I didn't work the way you little girl intended. Is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the little girl's design. That angle was never brought up in court. So as a justice minister, I must call off the execution. I knew I was right. I knew it. I knew it. It was not Detective Joad. Now we can finally prove it. Yay! Thank goodness. I finally won. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. And those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of a little girl from 10 years ago. <laughs> Yay! Vic like, victory! We did it, everybody! I mean, we gotta get Camilla back, but other than that, we're in the, we're in the clear! Oh, uh, yes, quite right. What's the matter? I just don't know. What should I have done five years ago? Back then, nobody had any idea about the manipulator. Wasn't anybody's fault who didn't know the truth. Do you really th think so? Of course, besides, what's important right now is deciding what to do next. Am I right? Because I am stumped. I'll be honest, I'll be the first one to say it. I'm not even a little embarrassed. She's right, Minister. She has no idea what she's going to do next. Um, yes, of course. I do believe she is. Quite stumped. Yes. What is it now? I just don't know. What should I do next? You'll figure it out. We believe in you. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe myself, so... Cecil. Yeah, I didn't come to my cell tonight. Did that stupid minigame to bust me out of jail. I mean, I, I, it's my fault. I didn't realize you could, I could bear roll that much. I'd be gone by now. Without ever knowing any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these last five years. Things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes are finally open. Tonight coming in contact with lots of people's lives and got involved in their fates. The only reason I was doing it was to regain my own memory. Things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. That's why I need to ask you a few more questions in order to find the truth about us. Ah. Uh, 
Fair enough. Fire away. So who the heck? You know Sissel, bruh. You have to know him. And that's not even an option here. That, yeah, okay, but, but uh, why'd you lie about the park? Why'd you lie about that incident? I guess nobody would have believed it. I mean, that, that is, that, I mean, they would have saw a meteorite covered in his blood. Forensics, I don't, you know, they would have handled it. Dr. Jad, you must have heard the name before. Temsik. Meteorite that found the park 10 years ago. You were there, right? Uh, so you found that out too, did you? Dang, you're good. Well, I'm a phantom detective. <laughs> yeah, that meteorite saved Lynn's life. Yeah, that's right. Couldn't do anything to help Lynn that day. But in the case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't mean you didn't steal somebody's life away. What are you talking about? Detective Jad, you told me that day 10 years ago. The person who was killing that, the perpetrator in the park was you. Was that to just corroborate his alibi for, you know, Alma? Yeah, just, you know, I'm a loose cannon. I just, I don't know. I just started blasting after that. But it was a meteorite? What? Yeah, I know it's hard to believe, but I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life. No question about it. It's entirely my fault. What? Excuse me? What's all this then? I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if that meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. Th that... Actually, you were not a murderer. That's not how that works. You were trying to save me. I'm like, come on. Well, I'm sorry, but this is my character arc. I have to atone. I don't think that's really true. That... What? What? Boy, you better start speaking some sense. What is going on? Cecil told me all about it, Detective Jode. About the manipulator. Yeah, and it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister, too. Oh, don't remind me. He's don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who's got to save him. It's not a fun mini game, I'll tell you. <laughs> Cecil, do you think? Do you think that's what happened to me, too? What are you talking about, Lynn? Don't tell me. You were manipulated. Who's touching you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not cool. There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. The image of the one who shot me. Now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But you just sat there, Sissel. How do you explain that? But who is it? And who... Why'd they do it? <sighs> it's clearly this blue man group. One amongst them has the power to manipulate things, bro. How are they... I mean, you're already a ghost. Like, how loyal could an organization could you be? That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camille's birthday, wasn't it? Or Camille's mom. Yeah, that's right. Something's bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right? <laughs> see, I remember. Detective Jode? No, I'm afraid I don't. See, I, I wasn't involved. I told Detective Jode all about the one of the, like, you know, that other replication. Told me about seeing the exact contraption tonight in a complete different place. Yeah. That is still a big mystery. Very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town. Never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. How? How would they know then? How on earth? Was that constructed by the manipulator? They could have seen it? Dude, this is getting crazy. Wait, what? You haven't? And I've never seen it? That old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? I guess that's our next question. Okay, well the truth about 10 years ago. Come on, you've been egging me on for a while. On that day 10 years ago, a different incident took place in another place. Wait, another place? Oh my god, what? In the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident. A suspect who was being questioned escaped. I didn't know about that. Happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or... I guess unfortunately. I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. Oh my god. I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him bad. That warning shot made him panic. So he... Well, you know. At the time, I was young and green detective, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. 
Made him panic. Got you involved, Lane. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have fired that single warning shot. I'm a fool. He's nothing if not honorable and really loves blaming himself. Detective Jowd. All I can do is see my target. I couldn't see you, the surroundings, or the world around me. I'm so sorry, Lynn. Jesus Christ, dude. I hope I don't have as bad of regret. Like, oh my god, he... Like, he's... He's... Uh, he's oh my god, he has really had a lot of burdens in life. I was calling him crazy for thinking about the chair, but now, I mean, god dang, he suffered so much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So the meaning grabbed me that day. Died. These last ten years. I've never forgotten his face. And a few years after that, my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way. I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I'd done. But then that must mean I w I mean, we- Sissel! That doesn't make any sense. Painting a picture myself, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the people I met in my life, I didn't want to forget. And I could never, ever forget him. Even if I tried. And tonight, I finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. God dang it. God dang, he's a wide fella. Jesus, he's really, really hiding that. The final face. Face of the man in the park that day. Wait a minute! That can't be- I, I saw that painting! I saw that face you painted. I ain't no- Whoa, 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 I ain't no kid killer! Hold up, hold up, hold up! It's me! That's me! Are you telling me I was the man in the park? How is that possible? If I died! What? That's right. The face of yours is the man I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole. Of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene! So how are you here? Praise ghost. Well, hold on, Jout. That can't be true. I just met Cecil for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. Can another ghost trick bring someone back from the dead? Is that what's going on? By the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by isn't Cecil. What? What? From the first moment I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering. Who in the world is this guy? I, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't- Whoa, 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 okay. Please, some good news? Mr. Minister? Inspector Capanabula, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our dem- What? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we confirm it's been carried out, we'll release the host. No. What are you? What are you talking about, Cavanella? And you know it, it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life's a life, right? Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. <laughs> Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. Dude. I'm not, I'm not that... I am that shocked. What the freak? How could you be so evil? You called him a friend. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? What is going on, Inspector Cabanetta? Oh, oh, God. The rock of the gods, huh? That fell from the sky, twisted the fates of many people. It started a chain of tragic events. God damn it, this music is high! <laughs> the and even now, the chain continues to grow even longer. Inspector Cabanella's call, prove that to us! Cabanella, I swear to God, you're going down. I don't care how many... <laughs> you might think you're a smooth criminal, but I'ma catch you! In the greatest mystery, all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even further from knowing than when I started. <laughs> wow, bro. I have no worries.
is. How do you commentate this greatness? I just can't. 